Good day, pupils. How are you today? Let's start our English lesson. And today we are going to start the fourth module, an organic and a non-organic worlds. Please go to page number 49. Салимите терми баллар, алшин тле сабагм бастаймс. Здравствуйте, ребята. Начинаем английский урок. And today is our lessons vocabulary. Please listen and repeat. Compost. 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 Составное удобрение. Fertilizer. Fertilizer. Тонайткаш. Удобрение. GMO. GMO. Гендек. Модифицирован ген агза. Генно модифицированный организм. Growth. Growth. Высым. Рост. Ingredient. 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 Livestock. Livestock. Малшаруашлыка. Домашний скот. Pest. Pest. Зят кистер. Вредитель. Pesticide. Pesticide. Пестицидтер. Пестициды. Please write down these new words on your copy books with their translations. Please watch this video. Organic versus non-organic world. Do you pay attention to where your food comes from? Do you ever buy food from the organic section at the supermarket? Today, we're going to take a look at some of the differences between organic and non-organic food production. In organic food production, Biological pesticides, such as ladybirds and beetles, can help reduce pests in crops. In contrast, non-organic farmers spray chemical pesticides to protect their crops from pests. Biological pesticides are free from harmful chemicals, so you might consider paying a little bit more to know that the food you're eating is safe. Compost is used as fertilizer on organic farms to help crops grow. However, on a non-organic farm, farmers use synthetic fertilizers to increase the growth of plants. On livestock farms there are major differences too. An organic farmer will use animal feed that is GMO free and only has organic ingredients. But on a non-organic farm, animals might eat food that contains synthetic substances. Livestock are sometimes given antibiotics to prevent and treat illness and hormones to make them grow faster on non-organic farms too. The organic farmer has to work hard to make sure livestock have good living conditions in order to prevent disease. Now that you know a little more about the differences between organic and non-organic food production, are you more likely to pay attention to where your food comes from? Task 1 Mark the following sentences as A. Organic or B. Non-organic Бірінші тапсырма Берілген сөйлемдерді Табиғи болса A-ді белгіленіздер Табиғи болмаса B-ді белгіленіздер Первое задание. Отметьте следующее предложение как A – органический или B – неорганический. Task 2. Exercise 2. In this exercise you have to match the two columns in organic food production or in non-organic food production. Екінші тапсырма. Бұл жаттығуда. Бұл тапсырмада берілген сөздерді сәйкестендіріп шығыңыздар. Второе задание. В этом задании сопоставьте данные слова с значениями. Homework exercise. You have to give the answer to this question. Which two things about non-organic food production have the worst effect on your health? And the why? И жұмысы. Сұраққа жауап беріңіз. Біздің ден саулығымызға кері әсерін тегізетін, табиғи емес 
екі өнімді жазыңыз. Және де не үшін, қалай әсер ететіні туралы жазыңыз. Домашнее задание. Ответьте на эти вопросы. Какие, по вашему мнению, две вещи в производстве неорганических продуктов питания хуже всего влияет на наше здоровье? И как влияет? Please do all the tasks. Good luck to everyone.